and we are now live and recording. That's, that's great. Thank you very much. So welcome everybody. And over to you, my uh, my my sound's not working very well. Okay. Uh, so I think Mohammed has some uh, technical difficulties. So um, I'll everyone once again. Um, so it's now one p.m. session when you're going to explore Hexi time a bit more. Uh, you hopefully should be able to see link to the collaborative platform called Myro. Uh, in the chat box and also below the screen. Uh, please use this because uh, Hashim and John um, will use this for their session. Uh, and we are very excited to uh, reintroduce you to uh, Hashim and John once again. And over to them. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome back. So we're going to be with you for uh, the next hour. And the, the real purpose of this next session is to try and get some activities, uh, offers of your time, requests from the community for skills or ideas that you might have to get these all uh, brainstormed and then uploaded onto the platform. So I'm just going to give you another quick uh, demo of how to do that. Then we're going to facilitate a 20-minute a session on Miro, which is like an interactive whiteboard. And then in the final half hour, we're going to give you some time and space to upload your activities and we'll, we'll help to, to troubleshoot. So uh, let me share my screen and I'll just remind everybody what we're aiming for with the, the uploads and the activity. Hopefully many of you now have got your profiles live and you've applied for the time bank. I've, I've been approving lots of you over the lunch hour to, to join that time bank. And I've noticed that loads of people have added NHSR community badges to their profile and I've been approving lots of you for your for your badges over lunch. So with all that done, uh, the next step when when we're ready to do so is to click on your account in the top right corner and then click on to add an activity and then simply to click on whether you're going to offer your time, ask it from other people or or land an idea, a concept, or a challenge to the platform. When you click on one of these, it takes you through to the form, and that's fairly self-explanatory, but we just remind you that when you get to the activate best match feature, which is the third final bit of the form, you tag the NHSR community and the Wishing Well campaign onto your, onto your activity. Alternatively, on the home page, you can click onto the NHSR community wishing well. And through the brief here, you can follow the prompts to either make a wish or to uh, or to offer offer your ideas and support on these forms there. When you click on those, it takes you through to the same form. And what we'll see are members of the community starting to upload their activity in, into, the, into the platform. So uh, I'm now just going to uh, go on to the, um, to the Miro platform. Actually, you know what, just, just before I do that, I, I, I'm just aware that what you might also want to do is you might see like an amazing offer and want to take it up. So let's say, for example, that you see Chris's data science mentoring offer and you think, oh, I fancy a bit of that. When you click on it, it'll upload the full offer. You can see that he's offering nine hours, and you can see that two people have already taken up that offer. And if you're interested and you like what you see, simply click on take up this offer. And what that'll do is allow you to request the amount of hours you want from him, and then add a personal message in to, uh, take that up and what that'll do when you hit submit is it will go into a private inbox and i'm sure many of you who have created profiles will have noticed that in your profile you have a private inbox for messaging uh, other members of the community so that's how you take up a, an offer anyway i'll now go over to the 
Miro board. And I will just say as well that in the in the in the chat, I'll be monitoring the chat here so that if you have any questions, we'll we'll pick them up and and try and help you because I'm aware that you can't speak to me uh, verbally. I don't think. So if I go into Miro, uh, you'll see that we've created a a board here uh, to to engage with. Uh, Hisham in the background is approving you onto the Miro board so that you can interact with it. So bear with us as we as we approve members. To to explain this very quickly, we've got in the dark blue five five logical steps to facilitate the the thinking. And what we're trying to do here is just help you to brainstorm what skills and time you might offer the time bank or that you might request from the time bank and what challenges you have which, with which you might want to ask for support and ideas from. And we're going to take some of these and then, and then get them uploaded live. So uh, we've designed this in a way that you can start with any of the four columns here. And as you start to generate uh, suggestions on the post-it notes around the four columns, we've put prompts at the bottom here. So, for example, it might be that when you're thinking about what your biggest challenges are in the workplace and you're adding a post-it note to add to that challenge, that it might be that you actually have an idea or you see other people's challenges and you have an idea with which you could support. And so you can add that idea of support into the ideas column here. Uh, if, if it's not too intuitive for you to add a post-it note, simply, well, I think the best way to do it is simply select one that already exists, copy it and paste it, and it'll create a new one. And then you can click in these three dots that you see on the right-hand side, click those three dots and you'll see edit. When you click on edit, you can then highlight the text and change change the text. And lots of the functions on this are actually just very similar to PowerPoint. So if I press delete now, that disappears. So I can see lots of you whirring around on the Miro board already, uh, starting to, to navigate it. I'll just finish by saying, uh, if you're offering time or engaging your time for the NHSR community, try and color code it as a green post-it note. And if you think your time would be widely applicable to the, to the wider NHS community, stick it in, in pink. And I'll also just say that, remember, Hexi time is a, a healthcare improvement time bank. So it's there to help you in wider healthcare improvement as well. Um, so you don't necessarily need to be engaging with the platform around our coding. Uh, if you want mentoring, um, or improvement coaching in the wider sense of the word, by all means, you could you could be asking that, requesting that of the wider NHS community yourself. So I'm just going to stop talking for five minutes, monitor the chat and let you play around with the Miro board for, for five minutes and start to brainstorm challenges that you have in the workplace, offers of skills that you might want to make to the community, requests of support that you might need, or ideas for improvement projects that you would like support with. And as you brainstorm them, we'll, we'll pick them up in five minutes and have a bit of a chat. Thank you. And I think while this is on, I'm going to approve more of you to the time bank. I'm seeing lots of people from Scotland joining us today.
Tom and John, just wondering how you think things are going. Um, hi, I just was up to you. Uh, I think um, the the Murray board's looking quite busy, <laughs> so uh, we certainly seem to be getting the interaction that we're after. Uh, Hisham, are you, are you um, letting people into the Myro account okay? Yeah, that's right, mate. I'm just wondering, John, if it might be a good idea now just to pause and see what, what problems there are, just maybe talk through a few and then kind of work them, work them around. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hand over to you for, uh, for five minutes to okay. wash up on problems. Yeah. I think that should have everyone approved now, John. There's, there's quite a few just um, requesting access in there. I think we're up to date with all of those now. Okay, excellent. Do you want to, um, Hisham, do you want to talk through some of the problems that are coming up on the Myra board and, uh, and we'll move, move things on? Yeah. Uh, so let me just um, share my screen. Lots of activity. It's um, certainly stimulated a lot of discussion on that. And I would say for everybody, don't um, don't let us hold you up. If you if you have a really well defined offer or request of the Hexatime community, do do feel free to upload it live on the platform and we yeah. I've started to see a few come in already. Okay, so just starting off with the first column we have here. So what are the biggest challenges you experience in the workplace? And the kind of things that we've coming up here are immature data systems, time to stop others things and code, just time deficiencies, having a team to work with, it's kind of you know basic teamwork. Time to learn new tricks. There's another one there on time. I'm just bringing those together. Uh, R for big data. Time. And it goes in that box there, as well as time for funding initiatives. Um, and then we've got NHS managerial hierarchies and R for big data. So those are the kind of things that people are faced with. Um, so that, that may be the things that are representative of you if there are others, then put them on here as well. But that, these are kind of, this is a starting point, the challenges or, or the problems that we're facing. If you've got something that you have that you could support an individual with that, so for example, understanding NHS managerial hierarchies, for example, then the next step for you would be to go to step three and put in your offer of support. Or if you see any challenges that you have an idea to help solve, then the next step would be to go up to, to number five. Um, so any other problems you, you are not on yours there, then, then do listen. If not, then you should be then thinking about the, the second column there and about offers. And the offers that we've got at the moment um, are, are on here. And I'll let you just talk through those, John. Yeah, I um, just make sure I'm not on mute. Oh, yeah, fantastic. Um, 
Yeah, if you don't mind um, dropping the screen chat here, Jim. Yeah. Okay. So with the offers, we've we've found on Hexi Time that uh, it's it's generally easier for people to think of how they can help others, which is quite nice when you think about it, because it means we're we're generous folk that like to help each other out. Um, and we can see that here on the on the, on the board. If I share my screen for any of you that are not on the on the board, uh, we can see that we can see that the offers are are, are very popular, um, and and also I'd say quite typical of what we what we see on Hexi Time. So um, requests, uh, so so offers around uh, on how to visualize data. And you, you'll be joining a, a group of people on there already that, um, that that are quite generous with their time around data visualization. Uh, I'm going to zoom in to have a better look. Uh, we've got people offering some. Uh, oh, that's amazing! Uh, workshops around statistics and and uh, forecasting. Uh, if you, when you're creating your offers on the platform, if you need to hyperlink it to uh, something that you're doing as business as usual. So sometimes when you're doing an offer, it might be that your team or your hospital is already delivering workshops as part of business as usual. By all means, hyperlink your workshops into Hexi Time, and you can you'll still earn the time credits for delivering your business as usual through an offer, uh, which can be can be quite an effective way of accumulating credits there. So something to bear in mind with that that type of activity. Uh, I'd also just reiterate with your offers. Uh, do do remember that lots of um, lots of our users on Hexi Time won't necessarily understand what R is. So if you're, for example, making an offer here around uh, pathway mapping in R, it might be better uh, to. To, to use language such as um, expertise to help you understand your patient pathway mapping. And then within the blurb, you might say, I'm, you know, I'm an expert in R and helping you with R in that. But uh, you might find with things like this, it's useful not to necessarily put R into the, into the high level title and you'll find more uh, operational NHS folk being able to engage with you uh, easier. Or, or maybe not glossing over the, the awesome skill that you're offering there. What else have we got? Um, yeah, so I've, I've, seen, I've seen this pop up a few times. Uh, and um, I must admit, I don't know much about it. So I'm, I'm going to do a bit of research and find out how we can help your community uh, with, with that, because it seems quite important to you guys. I can see people still typing in. And um, by all means, don't let me don't let me hold you to the offers. If uh, if if you've got a burning uh, set of skills, oh sorry, is there somebody? If sorry, if you've got a a burning desire to gain access to some experience or skills. From the wider community if you don't see it on hexi time or if you don't see it popping up in the ideas or the um or the offers feature here by all means get it on there and make a request for for those of you that have come onto the time bank we have automatically given you all two time banking credits and that means you can automatically take two hours of support from the community with no obligation to give back so it's it's entirely feasible for you to take time to request it from the community before you offer it. So don't feel like you have to give before you take. It doesn't doesn't have to work that way. I'm just going to stop screen sharing for for another five minutes and give you give you all some more time to add. And we're gonna we're gonna stop this Miro board at about half past one and then and then switch over to the Hexi Time platform and help out. Uh, I'm also if, if any of you've got any 
again, stuck on anything in particular with your uploads, so I'm just going to put my email into the chat and do feel free to drop me a, a direct message as well. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll monitor that into the evening to, to support any offers and requests. And before before we stop the Mara board, I'm quite um, quite interested in some of the ideas that are on there for the for the the three of you that have uploaded ideas. Um, it would be it'd be really helpful if you could um, explore those on Hexi time and upload them as a as a as a challenge in the activity feature because um, it, it, I suppose it's, it, it takes a level of bravery to to make that live and then let people build it, but there could be some really exciting pieces of work in there. And I saw, I saw in some of the challenges, some of you are talking about like funding challenges, money challenges. If we find the right ideas coming in, we can support, start to network you with uh, channels for, for funding for, for some of the better ideas. And we have wider communities and networks using Hexi Time that are particularly enthusiastic about getting grassroots ideas off the ground and developing them and we can help you and put you in touch with those that that sort of free support I've seen Mohammed put in the chat that the NHSR community does have uh, funding for for good ideas, and uh, it might be that if you upload your good ideas into the NHSR Wishing Well campaign, where we have the voting features, we can all uh, peer support, try and build those ideas, and rate some of the contributions. And it might might be that some of the better rated ideas we can we can rise to the top and see if we can access some of the money that Mohammed's referring to. Hisham, can I just check with you? Is the is the Miro board going to remain like open and live? Yeah, it's, it'll be available for, for a while later in the again. Okay. So we're at half past we'll stop referring mm -hmm. to it directly, but it'll remain live if you want to keep yeah. it on your browser and yeah. And add more more ideas to the community to support your brainstorming. Yeah, it's looking quite busy. Amazing, actually, really thriving. Um, I think, as as expected, I'm seeing the vast vast majority on there are sort of NHSR community focused mm -hmm. requests yeah. and offers, and. Uh, yeah, just to say, you know, we're here to help the NHSR community. So if, if there are wider skill sets that you would benefit from accessing, uh, by, by all means, do build them as, in as, a, as a request. Yeah. So it might be that if you're uploading an idea and you want an improvement coach to support some of your diagnostic thinking, it could be a good request and we can find those people for you on the platform. Okay, um, we'll, so we'll leave Myra open. Uh, I'm just going to allocate the next, the next sort of 15 minutes of the session to give you some protected time. Uh, just check I wasn't on mute. Just to give you some protected time to take a look at the Myra board, look at what offers and requests are on there, and see if you can upload them as your own live onto Hexi time. 
Hisham is going to be there in the background, just double checking, like approving activity requests as they come through, mm -hmm. and we'll um, and we'll, uh, we'll we'll support them as they go on. Uh, what I'm going to probably do as well is just do a bit of a screen share, and um, while you're doing that, and start to upload Mohammed's offer live, because um, I think I saw him put it into the chat. Find it. Yeah, it's towards one in there, so twenty pounds a day, fifteen days of developmental work. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Right. So, um, in the background, I'm gonna we're gonna leave the next fifteen minutes of this workshop to. Just give you time to upload onto the Hexatime platform. Uh, we'll be monitoring things in the background. And while we're doing that, I'm just going to do a screen share and upload Mohammed's uh, offer live so you can see how I do it. So if I click on screen share, go onto the platform. So what I'm doing here is creating an activity as myself, and then I can actually transfer ownership. And if you're aware of people that could be time banking through the community, but don't necessarily have access to the platform, uh, do drop us an email and we can support you to help people time bank offline. So, what have we got here? I was just writing NHS in that offer, but I can see that he's offering it to health and care. And just a reminder that Hexi Time is for healthcare improvement. So if your offers, requests, and ideas um, are in social care or academia, the community, local authorities, uh, you can absolutely engage with that and time bank with these individuals uh, as long as we're all trying to support healthcare improvement. John. Sorry if there's an echo. Um, yeah. My uh, offer is is a challenge. So we've got 15 trainers already. Uh, okay. So what we want to do is is recruit people to help them, including uh, so that we can deliver the, this challenge. Okay. So it, it's better as a challenge, please. Thank you. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. I'm just I'm just reading it as I go. Um, I'll, I'll I'll go off mic. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, I'm going to go back and discard that and, as you say, upload it as a challenge. So I think you were saying that, okay. So you're actually sort of doing a call to action for trainers. Uh, something along those lines, I think. I think. Okay, I'm going to add a picture to this uh, in a moment. I'm going to go on to um, when you when you're looking for pictures, we're, we're generally using this website for free imagery. Unsplash is quite quite useful for uh, free pictures that you can uh, save and 
paste into your activities, but I'll, I'll stick a picture in in a moment. Uh, Mohammed, if you're still there, it'd be quite helpful if you could just call over the over the microphone if you have an expiry date at all or any restrictions on location. Uh, no, no, no restrictions. No restrictions at all. Brilliant. I'll save and continue. And because it's uh, presumably it's available nationally. I'm going to select all the geographic regions so that it arrives into everybody's search. Uh, I'm also going to tag an HSR community just in case anybody puts that onto their profile. Okay, I'm going to put it into the NHSR Wish and Well campaign. And we'll make sure it tags onto that sort of support. Now, when I, what I'm going to do now is save as a draft. Because I need to hand this over to Mohammed. And then I'm going to stop screen sharing, go into my the back end, and I'm going to transfer ownership of that and put it live with a picture to to Mohammed's profile. I can see there's a couple more people still on the Miro board, getting some inspiration. Just whilst you're doing that, just a, um, just some reflections on the Myra board. So there's, um, there's some requests on there which could easily be translated onto Hexa Time. So if someone here is asking for coding sessions, which I think is something that could easily be translated into a Hexa Time request if you've got um, specific ideas as to what those coding sessions are, what they could look like, timing that you're available, for example, you could you could post that onto on Hexa Time, training on how to share code that would work really well as a, as a as a request on hex time if you can articulate that as to you know in terms of the logistics timing um days and so on you could you could post that as can um your statistical sense checking you may come up with something does it make does it seem to make sense that would work really nicely as a as a request so it would be great if even you who posted this on the myro board if, if this kind of resonates with you if you could, um, after this session today, articulate that on, on Hexi time as a request and thereby feed into the other community members who ask on that. So there's some really good ideas, um, requests and challenges that could all, could all easily translate to stimulus for your, for your activities. So while you were just talking there, Hisham, I've completed Mohammed's uh, challenge. I've added a picture, transferred ownership to Mohammed's profile and put that live. And uh, if you go to the homepage of Hexi Time, you can now see that that's the latest, uh, latest activity that's on there. Share that screen, obviously, then, um, John. We've got, it looks like there's a couple of activities on there now. Yeah, I've got yeah. a sharing screen now. If I go to... Go to the Hexi Time homepage. 
we can see that the the challenge that we were just discussing with Mohammed has has gone live. I've just put that on there. Uh, image from the Unsplash free image website. Uh, you can also see if I click on members, I've noticed that lots of you have been applying for badges. So uh, as I scroll down, you can see that the NHSR badges are starting to appear on everybody's profile as we go down. And hopefully you can see that uh, as I scroll down, when you see a picture of somebody and a bit of a blurb about what they do, it really does help with trust and engagement as opposed to an empty profile. So I really encourage you to add your picture and a bit of detail about you when, when, when you do create your profiles. You'll also see that people like Andrew have, have been approved to the time bank because they have credits. And so they've got two hours there ready to spend. Uh, whereas people like me, for example, when we're still, uh, still needs to apply for the time bank to, to, to get on. Also, a um, uh, quick announcement, uh, Nicholas Owen, if you're, if you're live and, and online, uh, you were our 1,000th member on Tehexi Time. So congratulations. It's a massive landmark for us to have 1,000 people on the, on the healthcare time bank. We're, um, if you drop us a line, we're going to send you 10 complimentary uh, Hexi Time time bank credits. Uh, so it'll give you... Uh, a good a good 10 hours of free capacity of which you can bring in support from other people so uh lucky you nicholas i would say well done but it was luck not many time not many days you can say someone will come and give you 10 hours free that's uh, nice. I can see. I can see Nick is. Uh, he's in the. He's in the chat. Oh, um, in fact, Nicholas, while we're talking, I'm going to go and give you ten credits. Yes. Okay. Nicholas, as well. If you, if it's okay with you, can we um, drop you a line and give you a very brief interview, just to to profile profile um, who our one thousandth member is and what you do and what you're up to on Hexi time. And other thing. I just watched your, um, oh brilliant, that's good to hear. Is it great? So if, if any of you uh, are on Myra at the moment and have reviewed any of the requests on there and think, actually, that's something I could help with, you might want to articulate that as an offer. So, for example, if it clearly there's a need for statistical sense checking, it's one of the ones that we read a moment ago. If that's something that you'd be willing to do, even just an ad hoc hour during maybe one of your downtimes, then, you know, consider reversing that, putting it on a, as an offer. You can limit it to availability, times, days of the week, whatever it happens to be. So clearly on that third column, there are needs. And if you can, on an ad hoc basis, fulfill one of those needs, get, get yourself down there putting up a, an offer and yourself credit that you can then redeem from other members of the community. So yeah, have, have a browse through, use that as a stimulus for some of your offers if you can see that there is definitely a, a systemic need for that. And Nicholas, you've just been credited. that point that, uh, of donation so it is possible if, um, if you wish to you can offer or donate your credits to another member or even to an organization so say for example you have a you know you're a member of an organization you can get that individual to, to register or, or get that individual to register an organization if you've got more credits than you need then you can donate that um, 
and they could use it. So that's just a, a good way of kind of fiscal stimulus, you know, moving moving the funds around um, should, you, should you want to do that. And similarly, it means that you could potentially draw in credits into your department, into your team, if you're offering a service that is useful for others. Again, no money changes hands, but it makes access to a wealth of, you know, a thousand plus members of um, Hexstein now who, who've got expertise and skills that you may not necessarily have in your team. Um, and you could do that through selecting their profile and um, clicking donate credits if, you, if you've got them in hand. You'll, you'll see that where um, Mohammed has uploaded the challenge, if you click on that, you can see that because it is a challenge, you can now engage with that on a, on a chat thread as, as Zoe has done here. And as people engage with that, you can sort of vote, vote comments up and down and respond to the thread. Um, Hisham talked about donating credits. If you if you find that you're you are accumulating credits and you want to hand them to people who who would like to spend them, to do so you click on the top right corner your account, uh, click on your dashboard, and then on the left hand side scroll down to settings and donate credits. Yeah. And you, you then put the name of the profile in and the number of credits and hit send, and that that will move across. It's worth saying at this point as well with profiles, you can you can have organisational profiles and department profiles. So if uh, if if you get to a point where you find that lots of you uh, in your organisation are time banking from a particular team, you, you might want to create a team profile on Hexi Time, and then you can donate credits between individuals and teams. Or departments, or even even at a trust level as well. Uh, just seen a question come in about the posted challenge. Um, it's on the homepage. It's the most latest uh, activity. So probably just refresh refresh your screen on Hexi Time, and it should should be there uh, as you as you scroll down. Uh, you'll see a bit that says what's happening on Hexi time and it's the latest idea on that. Can I also perhaps use the opportunity to mention a couple of other campaigns that are on Hex time at the moment. So these are, they've been set up by either the members themselves or the kind of organizers on Hex time, which again may pique your interest. There's one um, called the Cool Ideas Hatchery. So this is if you've got an idea, something that you, you think would help in terms of improving healthcare, then you can pitch it and then tag it to that Cool Ideas Hatchery. There's, there's a lot of cool people called the Next Age Radicals who are members of that, who, who, who've launched that campaign. Um, and if you want, Challenges for your ideas or ideas for your challenges and if you tag it to them to that then there's some really Insightful and, and kind of wise people I would say who, who, who are part of that community that you can tag into um, And the other campaign on there that you may see was was launched uh, during kind of the First wave of COVID really where we were recognizing that colleagues from a BAME background were disproportionately affected um, both in terms of morbidity and mortality. And we recognize that actually for um, good improvement activity, these individuals should be included. Um, and that includes, for example, it, supporting them in terms of talent management, coaching, mentoring, um, sometimes just even just reviewing CVs is, is, is all it needs just to kind of give people a bit of a heads up as to where, where how to progress their careers. So if you would benefit from that Bain campaign, have a look. There's some really generous offers from, um, you know, from board level all the way down, um, members of Hexi Time. Then go in there and, and I'd really commend you to, to try out and, and, and sample some of that, um, both to yourself, but maybe also if you want to put a, an offer there for, 
your BAME colleagues uh, or pitch it to others in your in your team, then please do so. So there's lots of really useful resources on there as well. Um, as is the plot the dots SBC stuff that uh, Zoe mentioned in the chat. Yeah. yeah, so that's something we're really proud of, actually, something very close to my heart as well. Um, but that's got a lot of national recognition now. And what it's really good is that it's helped convert some of the um, altruism, people who want to make a difference, to, to making kind of micro leadership steps. Um, and and you, you'll see a lot, of, a lot of that stuff on there. And some really nice stories as to how it's helped individuals as well as teams. Um, I'm just going to pick up a, a query that's coming from Zoe. Uh, Zoe's asking, once you create an activity, how do you like edit it? I guess like change the expiry date uh, and, and and things like that. So if I share my screen, I'll show you something important. So uh, I'll show you how to navigate there from the homepage. So we're on the homepage. If you've started an activity and you've left it in draft or you've got something live and you want to edit it, go to your account in the top right corner and select your dashboard. When you're in your dashboard, look on the left-hand side and you'll see activities. And then under activities, select manage my activities. And this will then bring up all your, all your stuff. So you can see here was the, the demo, the demo one I did earlier, which I didn't put live. If I if I wanted to now put that live, there's an obvious drop down menu there that just uh, hits it to submit. Uh, if I was to press that now, Hisham would get a notification and then Hisham would approve it to go live on the platform. Uh, alternatively, you can see on the right hand side here, I might want to edit the activity. And that's fairly self-explanatory. The other thing that's really important is if, if when you put your activity live, people start to engage with it, firstly, you'll get email notifications prompting you to the platform saying, you know, somebody has tried to take you up on your offer or respond to your request. But if you're already in HexiTime, when you go to your activities, you can click on manage my responses. So I might have an example uh with responses i can show you but i think these are all demo one. Oh yeah so for example this one here where i i offer coaching support around improvement strategies uh, if i click on manage my responses uh you can see here that hisham's been busy boy and uh, has been has been taking up some of that some of that support in the background but it allows you to see what you've declined what you've cancelled and, and what's current because you'll need to move the activity forward to be able to ultimately log it and credit the credit the the, the time back credits so uh just to say that was in your dashboard and then activities and manage my activities and that allows you to then edit the drafts and the live things that you've got got going on there. So hopefully that, that answers your question, Zoe. It's just coming up to two o'clock, uh, John. I wanted to, if we want to just just bring it back together just as some kind of summary statement. Um, I, I guess I'd start off by just saying, you know, wow, looking at the, the Myra board now, if I can just kind of share my screen, there are Dozens. I've got lost count really of offers, requests, challenges, ideas on there. So just in the last kind of hour, there is enough stuff to do and to be done actually to fill up your next year, Mohammed. Uh, you know, you could you could 
probably build a strategy the next 12 or maybe 24 months strategy just around the stuff that that's just been populated on that board so you're you're very welcome to, to use that um and but then the key bit now is for individuals to take a leadership stance really and say right okay either that's a request that i can respond to or an offer i could probably put out and you, you got there the beginnings of a, of a real kind of social movement in terms of activities that, that could be generated from from um, from your kind of really kind of vibrant community here first of all um and and the second thing is to say if you're not already on hexi time then please do so you know even if it's just you know to browse what we found on on the analytics on hexi time so the most people, most most commonly access time is for some reason the tuesday lunch time so you know if it's sometimes that during the work working day when you're thinking either I've got a spare capacity or you know maybe I need to find someone to help me with a, a task that I need to do or I don't have the capacity for then you know just have a have a drift back there click on the best match function and you'll find there will be more uh, individuals expertise and skills than you could possibly dream of uh, at the tips of your fingers there. so that's really my kind of call to action for you really kind of taking it forward John, any last comments? I think you've summarized that very nicely. I'm just in the background uh, approving more time banking applications that are coming in from all of you. Uh, more of you having NHSR badges added to your profile. Um, yeah, just to say uh, the support is always there. So uh, you've got our contact details and there are details through the, the website. If you need any help filling out your, your activities, just drop us a line and we'll We'll, we'll do our best to, to help you get your, your skills uh, live on the platform or to support you finding the skills you need. Um, thank you for a fantastic session. Uh, it's, it's been really, really impressive. Um, and, and just want to say thank you for being so engaged. Uh, I know you can't talk to us verbally, but the chat's been filling up. The Miro board has been very active and I'm sure throughout the afternoon we'll start to see lots of activities uh, popping up. And uh, we do acknowledge that you, it does take quite a brave step to, to put, your, put your activities and your skills and your ideas uh, into the community. But time and time again, feedback uh, is telling us that, that people are grateful they did it because they're allowed to, it allows yeah. them to move their, their improvement work forward and widen their network, professionally develop and learn and, uh, and improve services. So uh, it's, it's a great, great thing to be a part of. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I don't think you've got an afternoon break worked into the agenda, but we're probably looking at wrapping up 10, 15 minutes early here so we can give you a 15 minute break. Uh, in, in, in the okay. Was that a state permission? Sorry, we shouldn't do okay. <laughs> Unless you want to slip something in, that's easier. Uh, no, yes, yeah, right. So we have a session quarter past two, uh, lightning talks. Uh, so we all will see you there. Uh, as usually, we will be put on the session, or you can go there now. Um, I will ask speakers if they're around here to go a bit uh, earlier, uh, as it was in my email, so we can prepare you. And once again, thank you to Hashem and thank you to John. I can see clapping is happening. I can see lots of thank you from our community. I do believe great initiative and uh, uh, let's train all on the list let's just tra train all of them in the in the, the chats and local authorities as well as public health england and so on um so thanks once again and uh, good luck thank you, <laughs> thank you. Bye. Okay.